So this is a proof that my class and I have been messing around with for quite some time. And I'm going to do it right now by contradiction. We tried it by contraposition and it found out to be quite a mess. So we're going to do it now by contradiction. Now the rules by contradiction, a good rule of thumb. This is from our textbook. Um, it says to prove a statement A by contradiction, begin your proof with the following sentence. Suppose to the contrary that not A. So if you're trying to prove some to, to prove A is true, you start with the idea that not A, through direct proof, you prove not A is false. All right. So the idea here is start with the, the statement, suppose to the contrary that not A, and A is a thing that you're trying to prove. Okay, so suppose the contrary that not A, then argue as in a direct proof until you reach a contradiction. Okay, so let's go back to our problem. Con proof by contradiction works a lot of the times when you're dealing with rational and irrational because there's really no good way to describe something that's irrational like this is saying here. So in our statement, this is going to be our A statement, and if we're going to prove by contradiction, we have to assume not A in order for this to work. All right, whenever you do proof, remember you always have to start by defining your variables and your domains and all that kind of stuff to make the proof work. So I, I don't even think I've read this. So we're gonna let X and Y be real numbers. Uh, X is rational, Y is irrational, and we're trying to prove that their sum is irrational. So in order to do this proof, I have to assume that X is rational, Y is irrational, and then X plus Y is rational, which is not A. Okay, so here's the start of our proof. Um, first of all, let's say let X and Y be real numbers. Where y is irrational and x is rational. So let's talk about what it means for x to be rational. If x is rational by definition, then for some a and b integers, x equals a over b. So that's what it means for it to be for x to be rational. So with y being irrational, there's really nothing that we can show like you can for rational, so we're just going to leave it like this. Now here comes the the statement by contradiction. So I'm going to say suppose to the contrary that x plus y is rational. So for c, d integers, x plus y is equal to c over d. In the same fashion that x was a over b, x plus y now, that I'm assuming that x plus y is rational is c over d. So we're going to consider something here. We're going to consider the fact that uh, x plus y equals a over b, which is what we said x was, plus y. But x plus y also equals c over d by definition since it's rational. So they say those two things are true. Hence, we can say the following. So x plus y equals a over b plus y, x plus y equals c over d. Hence, a over b plus y has to equal c over d. And if you don't remember why that's true, it's called the transitive property. If a equals b and uh, a equals c, then b and c have to be equal. So that's what I used right there. Hence, a over b plus y equals c over d. Now our contradiction actually occurs with y, and here let's let's find out. So I can isolate y as c over d minus a over b. Do a little magic here on the 
right hand side that CB minus AD over BD, I just wrote it as one fraction, and then Y becomes N over M, where N equaling CB minus AD is an integer, because CB, A, and D are all integers, and the product and difference, it's closed under all those operations, integers are, so that's also an integer, and M equaling BD is an integer. So what do we have right here? Sorry, that was out of the picture here. So we have N over M, where N is CB minus AD, that's an integer, and M equals BD, which is also an integer. <coughs> Excuse me. So Y can be written as a ratio of what? Two integers. This shows, what does this show? This shows Y is rational, right? An integer over an integer. This is a contradiction. to our original statement. Therefore, if X is rational and Y is irrational, because of the contradiction, X plus Y must be irrational. So again, as soon as you hit a contradiction, something causes trouble. You get a contradiction to your original statement, then you can conclude that the theorem is true by contradiction. And I'll add that on here by contradiction.